welcome back to my channel guys my name is Ayomi D and on this channel I post sewing tutorials in this tutorial I'm going to be sharing how I made this dress I have already done a tutorial on how to draft the patterns just in case you haven't seen that I'm going to be putting a link in the description box it is just a video before this one so you should see it before going through this this is going to be the sewing tutorial of this dress if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly click on the subscribe button below and let's jump straight into this tutorial kicking off from where the previous tutorial ended I'm going to be going through my fabric pieces that I've gone ahead to cut out I have my center front already and I cut it out on the door face bridal satin and also on the lining and I interface interfacing on both of them I also have my side front I have the door face bridal satin that I'm using and I equally have my lining and I also ironed in interfacing on both of them so that is for the bust area for the waist area I have waist one I have the door face bridal satin and I also have the lining also and I have gone ahead to so ironing interfacing on all of them waist one I also have waist two here and I equally have waist three all cut on the door face bridal satin and also on the lining that I'm going to be working on for the bust area I also went ahead to cut it out on the lace fabric and I'm not going to be using the lace for the waist area only for the bust area these are my skirts so this is the front I have the door face which is acting as a support fabric I have the lace which is the main fabric and I have the lining also now the lining is really short it is about 25 inches in length I do want to use equal length because I don't want this dress to be bulky so that is for the front and I have the back also the door face the lining and the lace itself you can see that the lace for the back has an extension from the center back moving on the next step is to start sewing and i'm going to be starting with the bust area i'll proceed and join the side front to the center front and once i'm through with that i would go over to the waist area where i'm going to be joining waist one to waist two and waist two all the way to waist three i would also repeat likewise for my lining pieces for the back the first thing i will do with the back is i'm going to be picking the dart so i'm going to be matching up the lace and the door face together as a single fabric proceed to my sewing machine and then sew in my dart for the back i would also repeat likewise for the other side of the back and do likewise for the lining that i'm going to be using at the back also I'm done sewing and here is what I have this is the bust area this is what it looks like and I also have the waist area also you will need to give this a really good press this is my back pattern and I've gone ahead to pick the dart you can see I also did likewise for the lining for the back also and here is the lining for the front it's just like I have for the main fabric for the front also I have the bust area and the waist area moving on the next thing is to join the front skirt part to the waist area of the front and to do that I'm going to be matching these patterns appropriately and then proceed to my sewing machine and sew this all the way down for the back the first thing i'll go ahead and do is to pick the dart for the back that's for the skirt part i'll go to my sewing machine sew in my dart after which i'm going to be joining the skirt part to the back bodice so i'll need to pick my dart first of all before joining the back bodice to the back skirt pattern i would also repeat likewise for my lining also I'm done with the front and here is the outcome this is what I have 
you will need to give this a really good press once you are done so that that waist area can lay nice and flat the next thing is to join the bust area to the waist area at the under bust region and this is what i have once i was done this is what the dress looked like i love the outcome that this dress is giving me already okay so this is what my dress looks like the next thing i will do is to join the back pattern to the front along the side so i'm just going to match up the part of the back to my front along the sides proceed to the sewing machine and sew this down along the sides so i'm sewing the lining separately and also sewing the fabric separately i'm also going to be fixing my zipper along the center back of this main dress for my sleeve this is what i have i cut out four pieces and out of the four i ironed in interfacing on two of them one would be for the left and one would be for the right the other sleeve piece i didn't cut interfacing on would serve as the lining i would use to turn the sleeve so i'm just placing right sides against each other move to my sewing machine and sew it along the top part and also along the edge of the sleeve leaving only the armhole open and i'm true guys this is what i have i stitched it along the top part and also along the edge of the sleeve and i left the armhole area open which i'm going to be fixing to the armhole area of this dress so to fix the sleeve to the dress what i will do is i'm going to be grabbing my dress and then i'm going to be picking one of the sleeves i'll match it up along the armhole area making sure that i leave half an inch away from the neckline which is what i'm going to be using to turn with the lining so you need to leave your seam allowance which is half an inch away before matching up the sleeve so i'm just going over to match up the other armhole of the sleeve to the other side of my dress making sure i leave half an inch away from the neckline I have gone ahead to cut out straps of fabric that is about 8 inches in length and I cut it on the bias green because I wanted some form of stretch on this strap. Now in order to fix my strap I'm going to be grabbing one and then using my dart line as a guide I'll just pin it very close to the dart line so I'm just grabbing my pin to place one strap in place after that I'll flip it over to the back and then pin it also so for the back i'm pinning it about two inches away from my sleeve so that's how i'm going to be fixing my straps i'm done joining together at the sides and i'm also done joining my sleeve including the straps and here is what my garment looks like I've also gone ahead to fix my zipper so it's more or less a completed dress but I have just not done the neckline so what is left is for us to do the finishing. Now in order to do the finishing I'm going to be opening up my zipper which I've done then I'm going to be grabbing my lining which I've also stitched together and then the first thing I'll do is to match up the right sides of my lining to the right sides of my fabric starting with the center back I'm just going over to match up lining to fabric making sure they align and then I'm going to be sandwiching both the sleeve and the strap in between the lining and the main fabric so I'm also going to be matching up the armhole area because I'm going to be using the lining to turn the armhole area also that is why I need to sandwich both the sleeve and the strap in between the lining and the main fabric so I'll just go over and pin this together and once I'm through I will then sew it down I'm done painting all I have to do is to proceed to my sewing machine and then stitch this 
all around so i'm starting from one center back and i'm ending at the other center back i'm done guys and here is what i have i'm done this is what my dress looks like it looks a little bit rough but don't worry it will soon be done the next thing is to finish it off along the zipper area and to do that i will just match up my lining making sure right side faces the part of my zipper that is open and then i would proceed to my sewing machine and stitch this down so you need to do this on either sides of your zipper and your zipper can be open while doing this so that it can be easier for you to do guys this is me on the dress when i received this lace i just wanted something simple that i can wear but still stylish if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please click on the subscribe button below turn on your notifications for more videos and until my next tutorial guys stay blessed